So I bought it used. This is what comes in the box. It's a micro USB charger and the actual device itself. It's magnetized so that when you put it on clothing, you, you put it on. This is a close up of the device. It has the name, it's rubbery on top. This is a rubber strap. It has the name, the company name, T-O-K-K -K or TOK. The micro USB charger. The speaker, it looks like. Uh, it looks like the on, uh, the, uh, the volume up, the volume down, and the on and off button. Uh, and that's all it has. Oh, and a light indicator. That's probably for Bluetooth and for charging. So let me charge it up and try it out. You know, that might be the mic. That might not be a light, it might actually be the mic. This is the light to let me know that it's charging. So I left it overnight charging and now it's fully charged. Now let me try it out. So it's 7 p.m. and I'm going to see how long this thing lasts. Let me turn it on. I charged it overnight. Ready to connect. Yes. Ready to connect. No, you're gonna have to ask mom. I think mom okay, is. there it is. Okay, it's connected. Bluetooth connected. Okay. So it controls the volume on the actual phone, as you can see. Up, oh, I'm pressing the down button. Awesome. So I'm gonna play a quick, let me see, make sure that the volume's all the way up. The volume's all the way up. Okay, so I'm gonna play a song from my favorite podcast, which is the Gizwiz. So it sounds pretty loud, especially clipped to, uh, let's say, your collar or uh, um, somewhere on, on your uh, clothing near your ear. It's going to be a lot louder than the actual phone since, you know, most of us, when we drive, we mount this to, uh, uh, let's say, a mount on the vent or on the dash. We can only hear it so much if we don't have Bluetooth in the car. Um, sometimes I don't even like to put it on the Bluetooth in the car because everybody else doesn't want to hear what I want to hear. I'm also talking on the phone through the speaker with the air conditioner going and everything. Sometimes that's difficult in the car. So what's nice about this is you can connect this to your collar. You can actually answer phone calls, talk to people, and you can listen to uh, your favorite podcast. And without disturbing everyone else, you can you can just listen to it yourself. So... So far, so good. I started, I turned it on, I paired it at 7 p.m. I'm going to see how long the battery lasts. So one of the issues I'm running into with using this device, first of all, I'm going to say I've only, I've only had it for like I've been playing it for about two or three hours. It's 
currently playing plugged in. I just have the volume all the way down. One of the issues is that I can't text or use, uh, I can't do anything. The keyboard stops working when I have this plugged in and playing. It just stops working. I can't get the keyboard to come up on, on anything. Even on, uh, let me just show you, on a web page. I clicked here so I can click on a web page and nothing comes up. I can't get anything. The keyboard doesn't come up. So recently, iOS just had had, had an, up, an update and they did something to Bluetooth which also caused a problem with my shutter grip uh, camera. Uh, if you know, you look it up online, you'll see what it is. It's a shutter grip, you press the button and it takes a picture automatically. It sort of makes your camera, it makes your phone like a camera. You can hold it and everything. Also, you could wirelessly take pictures through Bluetooth and it stopped working. So I'm doing an RMA for that. But it looks like this is affected too. This is, I'm, I'm assuming, I, I have, I, I'm just assuming. So I don't know, I'm not, I have no idea. But that's the only thing I can relate to this not allowing the keyboard to come up is the Bluetooth option. But I love this thing. I, I, it's awesome. I love it. It's, it's great. I can hear it. It sounds great. I really, really like it so far. So I'm testing to see how long I can play it for. Right now it is 10 p.m. I started at 7 p.m. So I've gotten three hours of continuous play so far. And it's still playing now. Uh, let me raise the volume up so you can hear it. To defend the interests of the banks. The banking well, industry you see. is so powerful in this country. Yeah. Look what happened in 2008. So Remember all those still, bank presidents? Who it's still to playing. Oh, no, no. So well, I'm still working. I'm going to see how long so it lasts. Love it so far, that but that's one of the options. Also, uh, what I noticed, I didn't look at the instructions. So a long press pauses. So it pauses the play and a long press puts it back. Well, that's a really important thing to keep track of in a yeah, but what if we had a better way So I guess you can hang up and all that other stuff. The instructions well, it, will be at the might, end. This might but I'm just using, I'm looking to use it as a speaker. I did use it on the phone. We're I used to it to, to sorry, speak so to my wife. Go she limit, heard but, me clearly. You know, I heard well, her I clearly. Just, Everything I this seemed with. to be working this fine with making a phone call. And I just clicked to hang up. And I just clicked to answer. So it's pretty cool. So and far, so good. And, and I think you asked to phone, your, your Pixel phone, which is not cheap. Uh, so it is 11.25 well. p.m. Totally. And that's another thing. Like, smushes the best parts I've, together. I've so it lasted about a, four a hours and 25 uh, minutes. So four and hours I'm able to create HDR and 25 minutes. It's starting to die. It's beeping. On my raw photography you can see the light So if I take that extra step in Lightroom, and, I can get pretty much the same kind of thing happening there, too. Red and blue. So I don't necessarily Looking need the arsenal. Now, when I did try it on so the beach with all of these different modes, I was holding the camera. So my photos ended up being blurry. Because I wasn't aware that I had to Hold use a on, tripod, and I didn't second, realize that until I read through the tutorial, and then I was like... It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads, Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1730, recorded Thursday, June 6th, 2019. Nailed it! <laughs> on this episode of the Giz Whiz, we got new fancy headphones, maybe not so fancy mops, and even less fancy chopsticks, plus a new crappy corner all next on The Giz It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness. So it's not making the noise anymore. It's uh, It was beeping. It was giving me about two beeps every second, telling me that the battery's dying. Um, so I got about three, three hours and three, uh, almost three and a half hours. I'm um, sorry, four and a half hours of use. I love it. I like it a lot. Um, uh, another th a problem I'm having with it though is that the distance is not that far. So if I walk, if I put my phone on my wireless charger and I walk away, I may get maybe 15 feet away, and then it starts cutting off. So the uh, distance is not that. Great. Uh, if I'm in the same room across the way, no problems. But if I'm on the other side of a wall, forget it. So, so far, so good. 